guys, so if you don't remember me, I am Girl Gone Bookish. I am your Monday here on Bookish Friends, and I haven't been around in a couple of weeks. <sighs> I just, I am a giant slacker. I don't know what else to say. I apologize. So I hope you remember me. My personal link is down below. So this week we decided that a good topic would be um, books that we think should be turned into classics or that we think will be classics. And I have to be honest, we kind of stole this idea from um, Bookish Days. Actually, we didn't kind of steal it. We did steal it from them. So I hope they don't get mad. We really enjoy their channel. So guys, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I hope it's okay with you all. But we thought it was an awesome, awesome topic. So um, isn't there an expression about the biggest form of flattery is for someone to copy you. There's some kind of expression about that. I can't remember. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, um, this week we are going to talk about books that we have enjoyed that we believe will be classics sometime in the future. I was just watching Brad's video from Bookish Days and he was right. He said that this was actually one of the hardest topics they have ever done on their channel and I agree. I sat down to do this and I thought, you know what books really make classics and there aren't a lot that I would would think would turn into classics like beautiful creatures as much as I love that series of books I don't think they're gonna be classics um what else beautiful disaster and walking disaster I don't think those are gonna be classics Jillian Flynn books Gone Girl I don't think that's gonna be a classic there are thousands of books that I can talk about that I don't think are gonna be classics and very very few that I think someday will make it into that category so I guess overall that's how it's always been not many books are considered classic books so I'm just gonna get started now that I've rambled for a really long time about absolutely nothing important um, I'm just gonna get started and tell you the books that I think will be classics in the future. The first series of books is probably easy to guess. I believe that Harry Potter will be a classic. As a matter of fact, I think it's even been called a modern day classic and I couldn't agree with that more. I see my children reading that. I can imagine my grandchildren reading that. I think it's just something that we will be able to pass down and grandchildren and future great great grandchildren will be able to enjoy magic and living in that world and um you know this young kid that becomes a hero it's just a really good book she just set it up really well um i really enjoyed the way the story went i would have changed a few things but overall it has all the things that make a good classic book so definitely think that harry potter is something that's going to be around for a long time the second series of books and these i guess don't have to be series it's just it just so happens that mine, I think, mostly are series books. Uh, but the second series is the Song of Ice and Fire series. I think that the Game of Thrones will be around for a long time. For one, it's taking him forever to write it, so we'll still probably be reading it in 30 years. Um, but it's just, like I said, it has all the elements of, of a classic. Good conflict. You know, you have the main conflict of all the people trying to you know, be in the throne and to rule this kingdom or whatever. Um, you have that main struggle, but then there are so many little back things going on and people like stabbing each other in the back. And, um, you know, the author does not care, isn't afraid to kill off main characters or important people or people that you really like. Um, I think that gets people reading and keeps them reading. Um, it's something that I could reread over and over again and always find something a little bit different each time I read it. So it's something that I think a lot of people will enjoy. It's more of an adult book, not YA. Um, but yeah, I definitely think the Song of Fire and Ice series will be a classic in the future. My next series that I want to talk about is the Monstromologist series. I really love that series. Um, I think that the lack of popularity might keep it from being a huge success in the future, like a classic, but I think um, if people I mean, it's just such a good story. It's YA, but the author is not afraid to like get gory and dirty and gross. He's not afraid of that. He um, puts it out there. It's just, it's great. I just, I love that he's not afraid to do that. I think a lot of YA authors kind of dance around some things and being gr grotesque and gruesome is one of those things. Um, so he's not afraid to do that. And I really like that. And I think that's what will get a lot of kids to read it. And um, I think it's a boy book. I don't like to differentiate differentiate between boy and girl books but I do think this is a story that boys will like and it's very important to get guys to read and get them interested in stuff so I think this book kind of does that and that's why I think it's going to have the power to stay around I think it will get people interested in reading because of the grossness and just you got to know what happens to these characters and you grow to really like them and they are such deep characters once you get to know them um, I noticed that more in the second book than I did in the first so, but yeah, I think that's going to be a classic, or at least I hope it will be. The next person 
The next group of books that I wanted to talk about is not necessarily a series, but more of the author, and that's Philippa Gregory. She writes amazing historic fiction novels, and her books are based on facts. She does, she writes, she incorporates a lot of the truth and facts behind these stories and these people and her own stories. And then she creates, um, you know, conversation between them, thinks how they came to be, I don't know how to explain it, but um, she takes fiction and non-fiction and mushes it all together and makes an amazing story of how things could have really happened. They are believable but entertaining and dramatic all at the same time. There's a lot of conflict. There's um, just, you know, I just love her stories and I love her books. I'm not a huge historic fiction fan. I never have been. I went into her books thinking that I wasn't going to like them and then I was very pleasantly surprised when I read The Other Bowling Girl. And The Other Bowling Girl would probably be my top pick for one that will become a classic. Um, you know, if you haven't read it, it's a long book, but it's definitely worth it if you like, um, you know, England and that time period and kings and queens and things. That's what she mostly writes about. So I definitely think you should check her out. I definitely could see her, a lot of her books becoming classics in the future. And I hope they do because she's an amazing writer. So I think that wraps up everybody that I think will become classic. Like I said, there weren't many. The Hunger Games could potentially, but at the same time, I don't know. We don't know what the future is going to be like Divergent. I didn't choose Divergent because, um, Again, dystopian. I just don't know how that's going to be. Um, but there were other dystopian novels like Fahrenheit 451. You know, probably back in the day, they never thought that would be a classic either. And, you know, now we're reading it in 2013 as a classic. So you just never know what the future holds for a lot of these books. And I hope that a lot of them are around because I feel like right now um, there's a lot of really awesome books out. I feel like YA writing has come a long way just since I've been a teenager. So I just really kind of like where we are in the little literary world so I hope there are a lot of authors out there turning out tomorrow's classics so anyway guys um, like I said I am girl gone bookish and my personal link or my personal channel will be linked below and like I said check out bookish friends bookish days I'm sorry if you know who we are they came around a lot longer way before us so you probably already know who they are but check them out anyway because like I said we straight up stole our topic this week <laughs> So anyway, I hope you all are having a wonderful week, maybe a long weekend, and I will see you guys next Monday with a new topic. Bye.